So guys, here I am in this insane location. And as promised, since we published a video about Uniview's latest Wise ISP technology in uh, the other video, in the nine new lineups of cameras, we promised you we were gonna be doing a comparison uh, with other cameras that have a similar technology, that use a similar approach, as well as cameras that use infrared technology to see in the dark. To put it in perspective, okay? Today we'll be looking at the images of the Owlview Uniview uh, camera, full color night vision, compared with the images of this other camera right here that has their own similar light uh, color technology, and this one right here that looks into infrared. So this comparison, I just want to state, it isn't to discriminate against any other security cameras out there but um, that are developing this uh, sort of technology but to put into perspective how this tech has evolved to be what we're seeing today with this Uniview Owlview camera that we got here. And you yourself can be the judge of the image and the quality of it. Before testing, however, let's dive deeper into what the general hardware in each of these cameras looks like. So talking about the camera features, Let's do a recap of the Owl View. Now we know that the Owl View is packing a four megapixel lens with a one over 1.8 CMOS sensor and an F1 aperture. Basically the killer combo to allow as much light exposure as possible, helping the whole night vision mission much easier to achieve. I also want to mention that this camera has a warm light right here. It's, it's an option, but honestly, in my opinion, it doesn't need it as it already gives great image detail without, without it, without the light, opposed to other cameras that will need it. I'll show you exactly why in the testing section of this video. And what also personally, to be honest, like say you had this camera at a cottage and it lights up during the middle of the night, this will definitely affect the wildlife, uh, the wildlife around your property. And last but not least, it's Wise ISP technology that complements their hardware by throwing out the amazing image results that you'll see shortly. So that's our view. We did a little recap. Now to the second contestant right here. To keep things simple, okay, this camera I've got right here is packing the same 1 over 8.8 .8 CMOS sensor as the Owl View with a four megapixel lens and a max aperture of 1.0. I want to mention that both these cameras record in full high definition at 25 frames per second. Also, this camera, as opposed to the Owl View, has a higher lux value coming at 000 0.5, and the Owl View comes with a 0 0.003 value coming in first with a better low light performance. The Owl View right here. However, this has its own night vision technology, you know, attacking noise reduction, blurry moving objects to achieve the crispiest results possible. For the sake of this comparison, we'll be putting these two night vision cameras toe to toe since they both record with the same pixel ratio, as opposed to the infrared one that we have here uh, that has an eight megapixel lens that of course will provide a higher image resolution, but I don't know how adventurous will that be going against these two cameras that see in full color. So for our last contestant, just to give you the features of these ones, like I said, it's an eight megapixel lens with a one over three CMOS sensor. It does record on 4K, which I'm not denying, okay? It's a great advantage, but it has smart infrared tech with a reach of only 30 meters. What does that mean? It means that the infrared light can only go reach objects within the 30 meter range. So objects beyond that will appear darker, you'll see in a minute. And well, the further you go, the darker it's gonna be and the less you're gonna see. That's why infrared tech is for sure useful. However, it can be a bit limiting when we know the other two cameras that I showed you exist. Wonderful. I mean, now that we got an acquainted with each of these cameras, let's run some tests and, and, and experiments to see what each of these cameras have to you know, provide and we'll be picking a winner. So yeah, let's do it. Okay guys, so this one would be the Owlview Wise ISP camera, the infrared camera, and then the other nighttime color camera. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I can definitely see the difference especially the contrast between the other nighttime color camera that you see with the Wise ISP is insane. The colors are much brighter. The details are more there as to with the infrared one, you don't really get to see any details. Sure, the resolution on the eight megapixel lens that they have on this infrared camera is way better, but compared to, I mean, this four megapixel UNV Owlview Wise ISP camera, you could still see a lot of detail as I'm testing it moving back and forth, right? Like you can see a little bit the colors that I have on the sweater, 
that was intended here in the infrared one you don't even see the shapes so that's the thing yes resolution is higher but then you don't even get to see any letters or if there were any numbers which in the security industry is very important to see because you'd want to be able to identify your burglar but how can you if you're running on an infrared camera you won't be able to see as much detail the other camera really is not too bad but i can still see that there is a lot of noise and then since the colors are not so bright it doesn't really help the cause to really identifying what the subject is doing or what it has on him right later on we did also some uh, testing with uh, the warm lights on and the warm lights off so this one right here as you can see is with the lights on on the owl view which makes the image a thousand times better just look how crispy the image looks it, like the lights on the side it makes it look as if it was basically golden hour time like 6 7 p.m the motion blur is almost minimal and then now the details on the face it's it's insane right i'm doing this movement as well um just to see how fast this camera can focus on my face now the infrared still when i go further further away same distance that i did with the owl view you see you can almost not see anyone and as you can see right now i'm just I'm just doing funny movements but it's just it's just to give you guys a perspective of how much you can see now this other nighttime color camera you can check it out you don't even see my face you don't even you can't even notice that i have glasses on and this is with the warm lights on i have to act so you can't even see what kind of face i have until i get close enough and yet it's a bit hard now look at the difference. You can even see the tan that I've got with the Weiss ISP. But then with the other nighttime camera, it's just the contrast is not there. And then, well, the infrared one, I'm a bit silly sometimes, excuse me. <laughs> uh, with the infrared one, you can clearly see that it's just no detail. Now, to put you into perspective, this is how you can see on the Weiss ISP with say, for example, the, the plate that I have. Of course, plates are reflective by nature. So with the warm lights on, it doesn't see but still when we turn them off it processes them like it takes quite a bit like it takes a little bit of time to process but it does it wonderfully and just the colors that pop up just make it so much easier you know as that with the other camera yes sure right in the beginning it pops but right at the second step that i took you can't see nothing like really, there is nothing to see. And the further, the further I go, the less detail you can see. So I am very, very impressed. Honestly, super impressed. With the infrared one, it's just impossible game. Like there wasn't even a light on in that and we could never see the plate. So you can see how unreliable it is. Okay guys, so you saw the amazing images that the UniView Owl View night vision camera brought to us as well as this one right here. But to be honest with you, I was really impressed with the Wise ISP technology. Uh, just, just the crispiness of the colors, it's insane. It's, it's like, I was used to watching infrared cameras when I was little. I'm not a security guard, but I remember watching them in the screens and it would always be black and white, right? And it just made me think like how much this world of night vision has evolved. Like it's fun to test around with these things. Even though that, I mean, when it's dark, especially when we're like in the security system, System, you'd want to know what's going on, right? It's it's important to, to feel safe also when there's no daylight. That's why there is a market that exists for these type of cameras. So now that we have this new technology that you can see in full color, it just brings things to a whole other level. And I mean, you guys saw the images, right? This one compared to this one, just the Weiss ISP tech, it just gives me an idea of what we can expect later on in the future. So really, I was completely mind blown. And just to give you guys a like a perspective into what we did to bring you guys these footages like my whole team is here it is really really cold that's the olympic stadium of montreal you know we did this whole setup just so you guys could see a little bit of you know what these cameras could do so to be honest we would really appreciate you guys supporting us you know by subscribing liking commenting just giving us feedback because it always helped us to improve and become a better channel to educate you guys yeah really really that so super grateful we're going to be continuing doing videos like these so if you want to stay up to date with all of the security 
security world. Be sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one.